2017 Toyota Sienna AWD. A family hauler gets a fresh powertrain. The minivan has been the Rodney danger field of the auto world for most of its 33-year existence. Theories abound as to why the minivan never gets the respect it deserves despite being the world's most versatile transportation appliance. Could it be because the mini appellation no longer fits, especially for the 200-inch long Toyota Sienna reviewed here? Some blame the sliding doors. Others insist the beveled shoebox shape is sexless. In spite of fond trip to the zoo memories and joyous soccer expeditions, modern parents and kids tend to shun minivans. Sales are barely above half what they were in 2005, in large part due to the seemingly inexorable rise of crossovers. Chevrolet, Ford, Hyundai, and Mazda all have abandoned the category. That said, six brands still fight for their share of the minivan action, currently around 600,000 sales per year. Heart Transplant While Chrysler's Pacifica is the hottest news in this category, Toyota hasn't been twiddling its thumbs on the sidelines. The Sienna's new 4Cam 3.5-liter V6, shared with the Toyota Highlander, is equipped with both port and direct fuel injection, boosting output from 266 to a husky 296 horsepower and torque from 245 to 263 lbft. Variable intake and exhaust valve timing yield a 4700 rpm torque peak and a power curve that doesn't crescendo until 6600 rpm, on its way to the 6750 rpm redline, which is quite racy for a family hauler. The combination of Atkinson cycle operation during cruising, an 11.8 colon 1 compression ratio, and a new 8 speed wide ratio automatic transmission boosts EPA mileage by 1 to 2 mpg although the Sienna still trails the Pacifica by 4 mpg in EPA highway ratings. Keeping budgets in mind, this engine is happy with regular grade fuel, and it's impeccably behaved whether you're running flat out to beat the school bell or cruising to church on Sunday. Despite carrying a few hundred more pounds than the competition, attributable to the segment-exclusive all-wheel drive option on this test car, the 2017 Sienna moves to the head of the class in acceleration. The 7 second flat run from 0 to 60 miles per hour and the 15.4 seconds and 92 miles per hour we measured in the quarter mile for the Sienna Limited Premium flagship are records in our minivan ledger, if only by a few tenths of a second. And only the Honda Odyssey matches this Toyota's 3.8 second 30 to 50 mph passing acceleration. Alas, the new Sienna falls behind the Kia Sedona, the Nissan Quest, and last year's Sienna in 50 to 70 mph passing because of the new automatic's reluctance to kick down expeditiously. Pressing the well-hidden ECT PWR button, which instructs the electronically controlled transmission to rev higher before shifts, might help. Cornering and braking grip is core to every vehicle's ability to avoid doom assuming the driver has the skill to react decisively under duress. In this category, the improved Sienna runs at mid-pack, stopping from 70 miles per hour in 177 feet with some fade evident after repeated brake use. While the 18-inch Bridgestone 2 Ronza L400-02 run flat all season tires hang on reasonably well, the stability control system intervenes to halt the cornering fun at 0.77 grams, well below the Chrysler Pacifica's 83 centimos. Handling aficionados might do better with the Sienna SE, which has a sport suspension and 19-inch wheels and tires as standard equipment. We didn't expect much driving enjoyment baked into the Sienna's soul, and that's precisely what we found. The steering wheel is a hand rest, not a communication conduit to the pavement. Except for tire noise, the ride is placid, as the Sienna mimics the Toyota Camry's dedication to isolation. Features and Options Basic safety aids like stability and traction control, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking, automatic headlamp high beam control, a wide angle backup camera, and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert are included with the top limited premium trim. More advanced features such as lane departure warning and lane keeping assist will have to wait for the fourth generation Sienna, due next year as a 2018 model.
On-demand all-wheel drive is a confidence builder for those who contend with snow and ice, but consider carefully before checking that box, because it adds $1,140 to the sticker and lowers the EPA combined mileage rating by 2 mpg. Every minivan's primary mission is serving as the school bus slash cargo hauler that fits in your garage. This Sienna carries five in its two rearmost rows in spacious accommodations. Other Siennas can seat as many as eight. Entry through the large doors, past the second row lounge chairs, is a snap, and the back bench is roomy enough for strapping high schoolers. The middle seat slide fore and aft through 23 inches of travel to maximize legroom when four adults are aboard. Toyota's answer to Chrysler's ingenious tow and go second row seats is a third row that splits and drops into a floor well with ease. The second row thrones are easy to unlatch but heavy to remove in preparation for maximum cargo hauling. In that mode, the Sienna's interior offers 150 cubic feet of space, nine more than the Pacifica, and enough clear floor space to haul 4 by 8 foot sheets of building material flat with the hatch latched. Unfortunately, this Sienna's interior falls short in other areas. To counter the competition's surprise and delight features such as vacuum cleaners and beverage coolers, the Sienna offers a wide-angle mirror to monitor misbehavior and a means of scolding the kids through the audio system's rear speakers. That's not nearly enough to cope with today's child-rearing tribulations. While the Sienna's 14 beverage holders are adequate, the number of electrical connections 3 12-volt DC sockets, 2 120-volt AC outlets, 3 auxiliary jacks, 2 USB ports, and 1 SD card slot won't keep up with rising connectivity needs.